starting off our day with you guys in a weird way because Chelsea's bus just decided not to show up. So I'm dropping her off at school. I was gonna film it, but then I ended up picking up a little kid at another bus stop who was sitting there waiting. I think he was autistic and he was really worried about being late for school. Um, and so I picked him up and I didn't want to pull the camera out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it hasn't shown up. It's the easiest bus to do. <laughs> I don't know why it's not shown up. But they're like a half hour late at this point, and we just barely got a text alert from the district saying, "Oh, your bus is going to be another 15 minutes." The bell just rang for school. The bell it just rang. I just heard it. So yeah, you're a little late to get the easiest bus route. I see kids just walking to school. They shouldn't have to have walked to school. So that's kind of annoying. And I guess it happened last Wednesday too. Um, so I'm not really sure like what's going up with the route on Wednesdays. So I'm have to be more alert. Chelsea just didn't pay attention to the time standing out at the bus stop. And she's like, oh, I guess I should come home <laughs> and get a ride to school. And I was like, yeah, your bus is a half hour late. You should do that like 15 minutes late or 10 minutes late or at least text me. So, um, anyway, I'm going to go home and edit. I was, um, editing and working on the computer and whatnot, um, while they were all getting ready to go to school. Um, anyway, just didn't expect it to start this way. Take two, <laughs> back down to go home and there was two more kids sitting at the bus stop and I had tried to convince them to come with me <laughs> the first time and they were like rightfully so stranger danger but when they saw me come back with no kids and I truly did take them to school they were like can you take us I was like, yeah get in and I turned around and I started to go and look look at that the bus just came and she went to every I went now I have passed every single bus stop and she had no one to pick up she's a half, 45 minutes late now yeah, she didn't even pull into the school. She has no one on her bus. That's ridiculous. Yeah, she has no one on her bus. She's just gonna go back to the transportation department. Like when you show up to your job late, they didn't say that there was bus problems. They would have sent another bus if there was like bus problems. They would have just like, whatever. <sighs> Meanwhile, back at home, I'll show you just how inter interrupted I was. I don't mind. I'm my job to like go take care of my kids but I can show you that I was truly like not planning on taking her to school or having this situation laundry is going at least we've got a load washing and a load is that even done let's try I don't know it's warm I don't know if it's dry oh and this room gets so cold next to that garage door Okay, I had just come in from the garage with a second gallon of milk. I had poured what was left in the other one. I have a pan ready for eggs. Luckily, I hadn't started it. I made my toast, which is now cold. <laughs> I'm warm that up and make my eggs. And my microwave, we, listen to this. I don't know what's wrong with it. You used to only do this for like maybe two seconds when you started it, and now it does it the whole time. That's so annoying, isn't it? But I don't want to buy a new microwave just for a sound. It works. But I also don't want to tear it down off the wall. Anyway, I've got my eggs right here. I'm going to scramble and make my eggs my protein for the morning. I almost had a bowl of cereal. But I didn't. I was like, no, I need protein. Because I am going to walk at the gym tonight when Ashley is in her class. She is in class for four hours tonight. Four hours. Um, and I thought she had an hour break, or at least like 45 minute break in between two of the classes. She doesn't. So I've got to take some, or pack up some dinner, lunch. She doesn't eat like dinner foods, <laughs> unless it's Panda Express. Make a sandwich for her, take quick things for her to eat. They do take a little bit of a break after the first class and then they have a 15 minute break after the second one. 
and so she'll have some time to eat but I I'm going to walk as much of that four hours as I can yesterday when I went up and did it while Jason was coming home to go skiing <laughs> I ended up doing the four miles in just one hour I'm not gonna do 16 miles by any means in the four hours that I'm there. Obviously I'm gonna stop and help Ashley and whatnot, but like, I cannot, oh, don't go down the disposal. <laughs> it's like my fear, dropping these in the disposal and the toilet. Anyway, <laughs> like the fear in me, I'm like, don't drop down the disposal. Um, I wanna walk as much as I can. I'm kind of, I wanna like push myself. Um, I get very, into it when I'm walking, when I'm down there. And uh, my feet do get tired near the end after like four miles or so, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna challenge myself and see how far I can walk. Um, it's not about speed, it's just about how much I can actually walk. Cause I've been kind of curious, there's like a half marathon or a marathon thing you can do virtually with Hawaii. They have like a virtual like you know kind of join kind of thing and you just check your you just log your miles that you walk or run um i think this one is mainly geared for walking because they want people to like be motivated that you don't have to just run marathons kind of a thing and you don't have to do it all at once <laughs> anyway i just am kind of curious to see if i can get um how far i can get tonight so that's why i'm starting off with good protein I might even have some cottage cheese in an hour or two just to kind of have more protein. Um, gear myself up for my little, not half marathon by any means, maybe my quarter marathon. We'll see how far I get tonight. Warning not to um, lay in front of the fireplace. <laughs> and you're just a little bit cold, but also just a little bit tired. <sighs> yeah, I fell asleep. Luckily I set an alarm to go get Ashley from school and then we'll come home and I will get ready to go and walk and she will get ready for cheer. I'm trying to get my shoes on. We have an hour. After I pick her up, we have an hour before she has to head back down to cheer. Oh man, I'm tired. Oh, we had a rough night with her last night. She really hasn't had like bouts of um, anxiety. Let me put you down here real quick. She hasn't really had bouts of anxiety for a while. So I haven't had to use like all my tools. That's not good lighting. So it was like midnight when we were kind of working with her on um, <sighs> changes are hard. Um, for her, she has all these new cheer classes coming up tonight, and the anxiety of that kind of sent her over the roof. Is that the right phrase? I probably am so tired. Um, I'll, and I know that it's all related to like when is she going to eat? How? What is she going to be able to eat? Like it's not going to be a, a sit down meal. She's not going to be able to be by herself. I'm trying to change my watch band, and it's. Just put it on wrong. <laughs> um, anyway, it was a rough night last night. She slept in our bed for a little while and then went back to her bed, but I think it was like one in the morning by the time she went to bed. <laughs> so I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. Um, that alarm going off was kind of hard this morning and it was hard this afternoon too. I was charging my band. How much did I get? How much battery did I get? 54%. Hmm. I need a full charge. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here to charge while I go get Ashley. Because I need that to be full and charged. I don't like to use my... Um, leather band when I go work out. Um, I just get sweaty. So I take that one off and my AirPods. I need those fully charged when I go and walk. Um, battery is 
charged. She says, you don't need to film me. And I was like, it's your first day of Power Squad. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> well, I'm getting out too. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll come say hi. Okay. All right. I think she's a little anxious still. She's very excited, but she's anxious. All right, so I'm gonna tell you really quick how many miles I have on my watch right now. <laughs> um, how about how many steps, because I haven't even hit a mile. I have 0.55 miles, so barely over half a mile, and 1,200 steps. So let's go see how many I can get in in the next four hours, which is insane. I'm not gonna walk for four hours, but that's a long time to walk. I did get some granola bars um, and put them in here, and I have my water I'm gonna take in this time so I can eat, in, eat and drink in there. Um, they have couches and stuff. <sighs> Let's go see how much I can do. a tumbling skill yes. checked off tonight your back bend yes. right what else um, I'm a flyer she's a flyer with her new squad right yeah so congratulations I was so fun to like watch you you know practice that through the window you guys were perfectly like placed right by the window so that was great and while I cannot feel my feet although they hurt I, <laughs> I did 10 miles tonight Ashley did we also you? stopped yeah I had to stop I had to like I had to eat something I had to drink all of my water um I did 10 freaking miles I think it's like can we put my camera down I'll see how many steps that was um so my tracker um let me see if I stopped it did I stop this one no I didn't stop I need to stop oh I resumed and so my workout goal shows that I did 9.3 miles, but my actual, for the day, um, I did, I can't find, come on, 10.07 miles and 21, oh, I'm so close. I'll get the steps to, to round this out when I get home, but it's 21,971 steps. 21,000. 21, so I am... 30 steps away from 22,000 steps. I got I got a goal achieved. I got a walking workout award. I got a new exercise record and a new move record. An achievement goal. Move goal was 20, 200%. So I got all of these like they're on my the app. Let me see if I can get it to turn on. I got all these. Oh, there it is. I got that little award. Um, anyway. I got all these like records and tonight. You counted how many times you went around, and then. Oh, you counted? Yeah, it was like at least like twenty, as much as I counted. Oh, I that, I did more than that. Yeah. Oh, I did. I, I don't even know how many times I went around, but I am going to go home. I'm going to shower. I'm going to eat whatever pizza Dad has left over from his activity tonight. He did an activity for the men at our church, which is honestly a first for like Very. a decade or more um he is in charge of it and he has been complaining about not having activities for the men and so they put him in charge and he is fantastically excited for it and sure having a get to know you night and a pizza night tonight at our church he was in charge of and i told him you better save me pizza because i'm so hungry so he is gonna save me pizza and then i'm gonna go to bed I literally don't even want to, want to watch TV. I just want to go to bed. I have been on my phone. I think I have 8% battery left. I flipped through as much TikTok as I could handle and then I started watching YouTube. Um, I listened to music. I did everything I could to like entertain myself 
to get through and I did not think I was going to get to 10 miles because I couldn't, my feet hurt so bad at about 20 minutes before you were done, Ashley. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to do it. But then when I looked and I was like, I am this close to 10 miles, I'm not going to give up. And although I kind of had in my head, I'm like, maybe I could get like the half marathon. Maybe I'm only three miles away from the half marathon, but my legs couldn't move anymore tonight. And I, I walked for probably what three and a half my probably, three and a half hours. I probably did the same amount of steps you did. You you probably <laughs> did. You were on your feet just as much as I was. Yeah, well, I was mostly up in the air, but yeah, I stepped. All right, we're gonna head home and call it a night. But I motivated myself tonight, so hopefully I can motivate you guys. By no means do I think that you need to do ten miles to call it success. I just we had extra motivation today because she was there for so long. Um, next time, I don't think I'm going to do 10 miles. I think I'm just going to do what I can and then, you know, whatever. But let's go home. Yes. Good job. You liked your new squad? Well, yeah, because they didn't know I was actually signing up. So they. The rest of the kids didn't, yeah. Yeah, one of two of them was in my last year. So they, like, and I told them, like, I don't like doing stunts. But then when I showed up, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're the stunter. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Because they, they just choose the smallest girls to do it. And they're good at cheering. And they're good at doing all the motions. So they're perfect for it. So take care. And we will see you guys next time. Easy, easy on our tiptoes.